Hi guys. I am going to do a um, small part of my craft room as a part one and um, just show you what's near my desk. So anywhere I can reach to the front of me, the side and behind me, um, under my desk, um, I will show you. So on my desk is all my um, Spectrum Noir markers. Some are alcohol, a few are aqua, some are illustrators, and I have an alt light there. I have an alt light right there. So to the right of that, um, maybe I'll go down. Okay, so I'm going to go down, and underneath... Um, oh, these are just some die cuts that I have colored. So, what are these little birds? So I'm just going to throw them in there. Okay, then we have the Gemini Midi, we have the Marquee, we have some Michael King rubber stamps uh, markers. This is a 24 pack. I have another 24 pack and a 60 pack. Um, let's see. This is just small ink pads. This is more small ink pads. And then bigger ink pads for like stamping to color. Um, there's a little Diron, just some mats for cutting. Down below that I have a couple of Crafters Companion binders. Let's see, collage stamps, layering stamps, um, the verse stamp sets in that one. This one is also Crafters Companion Photopolymer. Stamps with dies. Then right here we have that Anna Griffin little vacuum. I like it. Some double-sided tape. These drawers, I have the two small stamp positioners from Crafters Companion, the four and the six inch. And then there is a quick trimmer for foil from Spillbinders down there. In the next drawer are folders for the Gemini Mini and some shims. Right, the drawer under that one are um, folders for the Midi, Gemini Midi. Here is the 8 inch stamp positioner from Crafters Companion. And then in these drawers, um, I have some stamp chamois. So my ATG gun is in there. Stress oxide ink. And they're all in there. And this is just a drawer of twine. Twine? Baker's twine. We have shimmer powders. We have some Brutus Monroe. Color burst. Some Nuvo. Shimmer powders. And then all these packets, different colors of mica powder. I don't remember. Maybe 50 packs. Um, here's just some stamping pads. And my Tim Holtz travel to the right of that. And then we have Tonic Studios mats. Have two of those. I bought one and then one came in a mystery bag. Here's, I have a 12 inch uh, guillotine cutter back there. All my scoring boards, my stamp positioners. 
all the other ones. Let's see, down here is just some bags. Here is the 60 count markers from local King Rubber Stamp. Then up from there, um, I have, this is just cardstock from Tonic Studios. Just different ones. Uh, this one is close to my heart. Um, Spellbinders, card kit of the month, straps. On the bottom again, we have 12 inch papers. We have paper pads here, um, cardstock, let's see, glitter paper. Oh, there's just a whole bunch of different ones. There's like pearlized papers. And I'll show you on the bottom over here, more 12 by 12 pads. And then these are, sorry, totally Tiffany. Um, binders and they just hold some of my nesting dies. So, and then the other one holds like tags, um, like a nugget box or a candy box probably in there. Oops, sorry. Above that I have Crafter's Companion cardstock and these all have tags. I know what I'm looking for. The next one over in the Calyx also is Crafter's Companion. Which I like quilt paper. Let's see. Dark chocolate, baby pink. Garden of Love. Okay. Sorry, my chair doesn't roll very good on carpet. To the right my desk I have this little it is, holder <laughs> of my um, die cutting folders for the diamond press uh, the mini let's see the midi uh, Anna Griffin midi mini um, that's it there's no embossing folders in there those are just blank folders for cutting my little Cricut Joy is back there. Right there I have paint brushes, um, a dusting brush, some misters, here are tools, Crafter's Companion Spellbinders. There are some fine art markers there and some glitter markers. Next to that I have all the tools that I use frequently. Rulers, some scissors, some glue, cutters. Um, this Totally Tiffany carrier right here holds a bunch of um, adhes adhesive. So all different kinds, liquid, Two side, two way, or two sided tape, I guess. And then I'm trying to use this extra light to give it a little light in here. But right here is my Gemini Midi, Mini, my Gemini Junior. On the end of this calyx, oh, right here is a heat tool from Ranger. Hmm, not really impressed with that one. I like my old Stampin' Up one better. Um, on the end of the calyx. I adhered some magnet um, and these are my close to my heart thin cuts that don't belong to like individual stamp sets and then I have more on the other side I'll show you. To the right of that I have a Billy bookcase from Ikea and the top is just miscellaneous stuff, coasters, blank coasters. Those four items right here are um, cards I've made that I just keep. <laughs> Down from there is Stampin' Up! cardstock. Used to be a demonstrator. 
And then these are my close to my heart stamps that are in here. Right here is more. And here is more. And they're all um, organized by what they are. So, right up above that are my Crafter's Companion ink pads. And then down below is just miscellaneous um, stuff. Right here, I have a little carrier that has um, cardstock already ready. So they're blanks. And I just keep that here in case I want to use those. Okay, to the right of that, um, this is my mixed media cart. It's a totally Tiffany. Here's one of her new items and this has mostly my stencils and like these ones um are they stamps and stencils are in here so all of those underneath here is like watercolor paper this is like gauche paints And in these drawers, just miscellaneous items, some watercolor paint, some, whoops, some waxes, embellishment mousse, more embellishment mousse, some tools, some sparkle pots, more wax. Sparkle pots and more sparkle pots. Down from there, and here's just miscellaneous items. Um, some crayons. Oops, down below. The watercolor crayons from Stampin' Up. I just cut the case in two because it was a really long one at the time. And then some of these some gelatos and pigment inks. Oh, this one has some sprays, some distress inks, some reinkers for the distress inks, diamond pressed pigment inks. Some paint. The last one has some watercolor card and a bunch of just media, different medias, mediums. Sorry. Um, and some alcohol ink. That's that. Let me put those back pretty soon. Okay, to the right of that, we have just some miscellaneous stuff up on top. And then this is all washi tape. And that one right here is washi tape. My broken diamond press. Have to buy a new one. So these are just uh, washi tapes that are like themed. Birthday, holiday, that kind of thing. Um, and all those. These ones I have pretty much color coordinated greens, blues, more greens, reds, pinks. Oranges, golds, black and white, brown and some orange. Up on top. Sorry, I don't want to make 
just took in here. I have all the really thin um, washi tape for like planning. In between now those I have oh, the pad and stuff for the fuse. We are memory keepers for the foil quill pens. Some extra white stamping card and some glossy paper. Next to that, guys. Sorry, nesting dies, and then in the back I have a lot of uh, diamond press sets. Behind that I have all my Peachy Keen regular uh, photopolymer stamps are in there, it's miscellaneous Cricut stamps. Okay, down from there, and these cubbies of this calyx, these are all just Companion. Um, behind there, sorry, kind of hard to see. Um, those are my Stampin' Up background dies from way back, and I had to keep those. That are like the Kikaboo Crafters Companion. that would be some alphabet stamps. And Crafter's Companion. Hard to see. And then miscellaneous and photopolymer stamps, some other dies. Oh, these are close to my heart. I haven't figured out where I put in those yet. And then oh, back there I have some miscellaneous dies. Okay. Too hard to see. On the next one over, we have the Jane Davenport binders, foam stamps, photopolymer stamps, small dies. In front of that, my doctor's companion, some diamond press, some lawn fawn, more diamond press. Down from there. I have these are all spill binders. Um, tonic craft kits. Just a whole bunch of stuff. Um, Hero Arts and Altenu Elizabeth Crafts. Behind that. There are three diamond press binders full of stamps and dies, two crafters companion binders. Next to that, uh, another diamond press binder, crafters companion binder, uh, my little mini uh, Anna Griffin die cutting machine. And here's just um, miscellaneous. So close to my heart, um, Crafter's Companion, Vicky Booten, Diamond Press, and then um, Crafter's Companion. These are just Diamond Press set, the hidden message ones. I just stringed them together because I really don't know where I'm going to put them. In this one, we just have a bunch of stamps. 
And then these are just miscellaneous dies. That started me into the die cutting. And just all different kinds. Just a lot. Um, Down from there, we have the old Diamond Press Crafter's Companion die cutter. Still works. Behind that, uh, Diamond Press Crafter's Companion binder. Then I have these really long, they were for DVD cases, I think, or DVD movies. I think they're about 17 inches long, and so I haven't gone through and labeled them, but these up to here somewhere are all just foam stamps and a couple in the back the rest are yep, first companion and then these are some like the big sets that they had everything in them and I keep like this one it's a cake one so I keep everything that came in it all the stamps are in there embossing folders so everything just stays together. Next to that, a couple more diamond press binders, or Crafter's Companion, sorry. Um, these have collections in them. Like this one has the Peacock Collection, Spring is in the Air, Garden of Love. This one, Fairy Garden, Winter Floral and Vintage Lace. Another long container full of stamps and dies, uh, diamond press, stamps of life, um, my favorite things, Crafter's Companion, Elizabeth Crafts, Jelly Bean, just a bunch of um, miscellaneous ones. Here's the jigsaw die. Just a 5x7 from Crafter's Companion. I went ahead and left the poster board in with it right now. Again, more Crafter's Companion dies. Okay, below that is just my storage for my bigger Xyron machine and um, refills. And then on the bottom of this one, we have what, 6x. 12 paper pads from Sizzix. All double sided. And then all my 8x8 eight eight pads and sheets of paper are in here. And whatever that was. Okay. So to the right of that, I have another work surface next to my desk, which is here. So this is to the left of me. A stay, what is it, an art station um, with magnets. And then I have, gosh, several here. I've got another pad here. I've got the Crafter's Companion one. This one is from Diamond Press. And then that one is just a carousel with markers and uh, corner chompers and my crocodile scissors, staples, um, fine liner. Those are brush markers. One of these with inks, tags, and a bone holder. Miscellaneous, some of those, um, yeah, mm -hmm. it's little sanding blocks. Okay, behind that is all my close to my heart orders and backgrounds. I like how them. I can get to them. Underneath that are six by six paper pads. 
see next to that I have a three drawer item Got from HSN on the top is just miscellaneous stuff some Nuvo uh, alcohol markers these are just some liquid things stamp cleaners what, what not home squares this little container or drawer okay, are like made for you stamps such a oh. more made for you stamps just and then just miscellaneous die cuts I just want to do a sample sell something cuts or stamps I'm just been throwing it in there down below that, there's some Crafter's Companion cardstock and all these different colors. Um, this is just colored cardstock from Hobby Lobby. Here are some samples of my embossing folders, my embossing powders. And I just write on the back what they are. Down below in the second drawer, all these papers are from Stampin' Up. I just toss them back in there from the bigger ones. So they're all there. I still have uh, what are these called designer paper samples. And there. The one below that is actually close to my heart paper. Um, and there's six by six samples over the years. Um, they're smaller cardstock samples. And, that one. and then we have close to my heart carousel here with my inks. So those are some. Move that out of the way. Some pins. On the sides I have um, put up some magnet magnets and these are close to my heart dies. More of them. My other inks. And on the other side, again, close to my heart ties, the alphabet, some tags. Um, with the close to my heart um, dies that come with stamps, I just leave them in with the stamps. So they're all um, on that shelf behind me. Underneath that one, let's see, is where I keep a bunch of my trimmers. Another one right there. I don't know what this is. I picked it up and I don't remember. Rotary tool kit. Tuesday morning. Hmm. I haven't tried it yet. There are some miscellaneous items. I don't know what they are. Here I keep my wipes, some paper towels, um, some alcohol wipes. In this little case here, let me move this light over here. Sorry. I have my acrylic blocks that I keep close to me because I use them more often. I have more in another area. Um, this is just some scrap paper. More adhesive items. And another stamp positioner. Let's see. This is cardstock. 
that I'll cut for bases and just use to stamp on. Here are some gloves so I don't get messy. I'm always getting ink all over my fingers with my fingernails. Um, some of my stickles. The bottom one has like some adhesive sheets. Doctor's companion. Let's see. Those are also adhesive card. Some wood grain. Hard to see. Veneer. Denim. Some just some miscellaneous things. Um, I think that's about it right here by my desk. I think that's it. So I'll probably make about four videos. Um, I have a lot of stuff in my craft room and I'll just break it up by section. So thanks for joining me. Um, please give me a thumbs up and um, leave a comment if you want to see something else that is like more in-depth video something that you saw I'll be happy to um, record that so again thanks for watching and I'll see you later bye